Today we are discussing five guitars you can upgrade to for under $1,000. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us at tarpleymusic.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not already. So you've been playing guitar for a year or two. You got a nice little starter guitar. You're really starting to figure out what kind of styles you like and you're ready for an upgrade. Well, today we're gonna do five different models of five very distinct types that are great to upgrade to for under $1,000, especially here at Tarpley Music. So the first one I have up is, this is the vintage brand V100. So this is their famous Les Paul style, single cut, full mahogany body, great soft C, one piece mahogany neck, 22 medium jumbo frets. So what does any of that mean to you guys who are starting out? Very comfortable, versatile guitar. So humbucker style pickups, are actually two, mag two magnets that are wrapped so you can get a lot of high input or high output and gain with not much hum or very little to no hum, which is why it's called a hum bucker, right? So your hard rock guys, those old classic rock songs, a lot of those heavy hitters are all using guitars with humbuckers built in. So this is a killer upgrade to get into for a very great intermediate level guitar. I would have no problem taking out on a gig. It's very comfortable. Uh, Trev Wilkinson uh, designs as far as the pickups themselves and the bridge. Look up Trev Wilkinson. He's an extremely well-known name in the industry, especially of guitar parts. In fact, uh, a lot of the British people refer to him as the one-man think tank. So really cool guitar. So let's just play a little bit. I'm just going to kind of play in some different positions with some some uh, some distortion here from the Department 10 Dual Distortion by uh, Black Star. She kind of gives you some tone ideas. Lot of tonal difference a lot of rhythmic styles that i can do good clean tones melt your face with some harmonics when you get that treble pickup on so if you really like that kind of that harder rock stuff and that heavy classic rock stuff you're probably going to want to go with something like a v100 by vintage so next up we have the gretsch jet uh this is the g5230t um these are really cool different type of sounding guitar this is actually a chambered body. So how's that different from a V100? Well, the V100 is a solid body. It's one piece of solid wood. The chambered body has these empty chambers inside of it. So it's a mahogany body, but there's a maple cap on top. And so it give it a little bit more of this airy kind of a sound. Uh, it's a killer bridge on this. This vibrato bar is the Bigsby. It's a very famous, a lot of surf rock and stuff that uses it. Uh, your Brian Setzer's. Uh, but you see, uh, you know, George Harrison played uh, a Gretsch style guitar like this, Chet Atkins. So, and they like a little bit more of that airiness. So these pickups are a little different. These are actually the um, filtered Tron pickups. So they're kind of like a uh, between a PAF humbucker, uh, but with the clarity of a single coil. So. PAF was patent applied for. It's one of the most famous pickups of all time, a humbucker style pickup. And then the single coil like you would see on Stratocasters and Telecasters. Stuff like. So it's kind of a combination uh, between those two. It's just a really cool different kind of a sound. So if you like a lot of that kind of surf rocky stuff, uh, more of your western swing, things like that, you'll hear a lot of this playing. The Beatles use quite a bit of Gretsch guitars. Uh, so let's play a little bit and kind of hear some of that stuff. So you've got same way, three way pickup switch, right, with two pickups.
very nice open chords on it. Such a great clean full sound. Definitely get some treble. Except... Putting overdrive or distortion on that, absolutely, it will scream. <laughs> Very versatile guitar. So if you really like kind of that airy boxiness with a little bit of the openness, but still want a good full solid body sound that you can crank up, then yeah, look no further than the Gretsch Jet. So number three on my list of great guitars to upgrade to for under a thousand dollars, we're going into yet a different style of guitar. This is the Epiphone Casino. One of the things I think Epiphone does really well at that particular price point is their hollow body style guitars. So this is a based off, the style is a double cutaway like a ES335 style, it's an arch top. Okay, so this is a hollowed bodied guitar in there with two F holes. So yes, very open boxy sound. Hey, isn't this for jazz mostly and some blues and what? Yes, you do see it a lot in that stuff, but it can absolutely be used all across the board. Uh, Dave Grohl from Foo Fighters, he uses a, a, a lot a guitar like this and he gets a really great cool overdrive sound because it's just a little little boxier there so this is a very solid guitar great trapeze here the bridge is very solid it holds intonation extremely well so what is intonation intonation is as i play all the way up the neck does it stay in tune consistently all the way uh and that's obviously a very important feature if you're playing rhythm and lead parts so you're in tune all the way up the fretboard uh, these are actually P90 pickups. So P90 is a single coil pickup, but it's actually uh, it's wider and it's a little shorter of a bobbin, which though single magnet for where they wrap around like another single coil does. So it is a little bit different of a sound. It's kind of gives you some of the benefits of a humbucker and some of the tone of a, a single coil. And so quite often people have, it's kind of, they say it's kind of in the middle of those, and, and that really makes sense. So this is a Pile Ferro fretboard, which is uh, very similar to Rosewood. Uh, it's kind of come out of a necessity because of Rosewood being harder to find, so they were using Pile Ferro to kind of keep it in that, that realm of price points and to keep them going. So really cool guitar. Yes, is it often used for your jazz and bluesy stuff, of course. still three-way so very mellow sound in the middle and then all the way bassy you can almost get an acoustic -y sound out of that if you're doing slow chords here but like I said before will it hold some distortion oh yeah it will hold it and it'll be nice and crunchy but it's got a little bit more of an airiness sound to it so if you like kind of that airy boxy sound and you maybe you're really getting into more blues and jazz and stuff like that you can definitely upgrade to the epiphone casino so the fourth guitar i'm going to recommend upgrading to is the vintage v52 now this is their t-style uh two single coil most famous model guitars of all time. They actually got four different ones, 52, 62, 72, 75. Uh, this is the 52, so it's really kind of basing it off that 1952 original. And so, ironically, it doesn't get too much better and versatile than where it started from. So one of the most versatile guitars uh, ever, but I could literally do a lot of different vintage guitars for under grand, quite honestly. So this is a bang for the buck if I've ever heard one. So you got all alder body, right? One piece maple neck. This actually is the, it's got a three saddle, brass saddle bridge, except this one actually is, um, they've done a staggered, so you can actually get much better intonation out of that. So you get a lot of tone out of that brass and that's what people want to love it. Uh, they also use a steel ashtray, which is basically underneath this pickup. And the reason for that is the combination of how it melts with the pickup itself. Um, and so it, he's gone to steel for that reason. 
other than that, it's very standard, right? You've got three pickup switch, you've got your volume and tone for those, you've got your neck, and you got a bridge single coil, right? Um, well, I see these and people think, you know, okay, country, and but, you know, same thing. Yes, a lot of country guys use them. A lot of classic rise guys use them. I mean, Bruce Springsteen basically played on one of these uh, through everything and, and through, you know, country and rock and things like that. So a lot of bite to it, a lot of punch, great sound. So let's hear some of them. extremely versatile. Trebly bite, right? Can we distort it? Of course. So very versatile, very simple design. So you really can play any styles on it. So is there a better T-style guitar for under $1,000? I don't think so. You gotta check out Vintage V52. So fifth on my list for today of great guitars you can upgrade to for under $1,000. No argument here by anybody, I bet. This is the PRS Silver Sky SE. Uh, you can actually see a full video on our channel. If you go to our channel and check it out, now there's a full video. But this is just all guitar in one body. Three single coils, extremely high screeching solos, but very mellow sounds. It's so versatile, and it's, you know, that S-style double cutaway. A lot of beginning bars, uh, guitars kind of look like this, and so you see this, but then you pick up this thing, and you're like, oh, Gosh, that's what a neck should feel like. These are the tones I should be able to get. It feels so great. The look of it is so awesome. So this just knocks it out of park for $1,000. Uh, definitely a guitar I really, really want and would gig on as much as I could. So there's a ton of five-way switch, three single holes, right? So there's a ton of tones to go on. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna play on this just a little bit, but some basic specs on it is uh, the, you know, the alder body, you got your soft C, you got a rosewood neck, um, and it is a 22 frets, you know, so it's a lot of that just standard uh, when you think of all guitar that is, you know, one of the most famous models of all time. PRS kills it for this price range in this market. So. get through all the positions on this possible guitar. I haven't even touched the tone knob, so obviously a tone machine, right? So if you're looking for, I love that style of my beginning guitar, but I really want to step it up several notches, you absolutely cannot go wrong with the PRS Silver Sky SE. So obviously if you're out there and you're guitar shopping to upgrade, there's just endless models and it can, it can actually be very overwhelming. And so I get that. So this is kind of why I wanted to put this list together. This is just five. I could easily do 10 videos of five in each video of great guitars for under $1,000. But um, not to mention that, you know, certain models that I played, you, you can tweak a little bit, you know, of course, color and some things like that. So I'm just talking about uh, guitars that that I've had in stock into this in this particular location that are just killer that you can get very 
easily at any Tarpley location, but they're all really great models. And I wanted to kind of give five different ways because you, when you're learning guitar, you're, I don't know what your interests are, what bands you like, and you may not until you really start playing more. So there's five very distinct directions to go in great brands. And so, and they were in no particular order, and it is not the end all be all list of five by any stretch, but those are five killer guitars that would be lifelong guitars. None of them, from that standpoint, what I would call it's the first of your next collection, right? Because you're, you know, you're going to get that one and then you're going to be like, you know what? I do like the tones of humbuckers and I do, and you're going to eventually, that's going to grow. So, but I think it's important to upgrade into an instrument that kind of fits your most favorite style and what you, what are you going to walk by every day and want to pick up? It's very, very important. And as I taught for years, that's what I would tell people. Well, I don't know what to get. What would you walk by and want to pick up? If you walk by a guitar, you're like, you don't have any instrument. You're not going to play it, right? So these are five of, of my favorites that I think just knock it out of the park um, at that price range. So go out and play all that you can and look at all those kinds of different models. See what feels right to you. You've been playing. You know what a guitar feels like right to you or if it feels off it's too heavy it's too big i don't you know and uh, so give yourself a little bit of that credit and just play a bunch of cool guitars i would recommend maybe starting with those five if you come in uh really killer deals for that so hey if you got anything from this video and if you enjoyed it please hit like subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you'd like to know as more videos drop just turn on notifications we'll see you on the next one <laughs> So most importantly, we have my honorable mention, which is this random screw nut cigar box guitar. Yeah, it actually has a pickup. <laughs> All these other traditional guitars with, you know, plenty of strings and stuff, you know, it doesn't, and this literally can tune to whatever you want because it doesn't matter. <laughs>